Let me ask you a question by a show of hands. How many of you have been diagnosed with cancer or know someone who has been diagnosed? That's what I thought. See, cancer is a very common disease throughout the United States and the whole world. In fact, in the U.S. alone, Cancer is responsible for approximately 600,000 deaths each year. 600,000 deaths. That is about the number of people who live in Baton Rouge area. So just imagine if someone or something wiped out our entire communities we would want to do something about it. You'd want to get rid of that thing that did that to us. And that's who cancer is. And that's what cancer does. That's why I often think of cancer as an enemy that we must destroy. You see, cancer has been around and impacting our health for a very long time. In fact, it has been described in manuscripts as far back as 3000 BC. And today, it is the second biggest killer, only behind heart disease. So, there are more than 100 different types of cancer. And more ways to treat it. The most common ways to treat cancer are the two we have all heard about. That's radiation and chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, or the treatment of cancer using chemical substances, has been around since the na around 1950s. And we continue, to use it. we continue to use it up till today. The, the problem with chemo is that it wreaks havoc on our lives because it is literally a poison. It kills both cancer cells and normal cells. I'm sure that many of you have seen people who have lost hair after chemotherapy. And the, the, the damage that these chemos do cause are major. For example, they damage heart, lungs, kidneys. But they also damage the nerves that may lead to pain and disability. So, but chemo is great, right? Because it benefits a lot of patients still. But ask yourself, what if we had a better way? What if we could develop smarter drugs? These are the questions that I've had in my career for a long time. See, I've spent a few decades in pharmaceutical industry developing cancer drugs. So today, I want to tell you about this drug that my team and I have developed and are currently testing that I believe will change the way we treat cancer forever. The way we treat cancer today with chemos is like dropping a bomb on your enemy. You may kill cancer, but you also destroy everything in the vicinity. And sometimes even including the innocent bystanders, such as, the, the, such as other organs and other body systems. But if that happens, then we have to do other things as well. So this is when I started to think that there has to be a better way. There has to be a better way. So we came up with a new game plan. And 
we set out to do two things. One, kill the cancer cells without making the patient sick. Two, prevent the cancer cells from becoming resistant. Our company, Esperance Pharmaceuticals, that was founded here in Baton Rouge, is using a technology to kill cancer cells without harming normal cells. And we tested hundreds of compounds, and they all failed until one showed signs of promise. We call it EP100 because it doesn't have a formal name yet. So EP100 acts like a guided missile to destroy and kill cancer cells. It consists of two parts. It has a vehicle and a warhead. So we use the vehicle to target the cancer cells and deliver the warhead exactly where we need it, all the while not touching the normal cells. You see, we are currently testing EP100 in patients. And we have started with ovarian and breast cancer. We see it working because it does not cause hair loss, for example. And what is nice is that it may reverse the resistance of cancer, of chemotherapies to chemotherapies. This is exciting and really fascinating. And so, because of that, we are making progress. We are making progress. But we have a long way to go. We still have to conduct a lot of clinical trials. And these trials are expensive. They cost millions of dollars. But I believe that if we continue to make the kind of progress that we're making, it will be money well spent. And so the next step is to seek help so that we can do larger clinical trials. Thankfully, we, are, we have partners like MD Anderson at the Cancer Center in Houston who are helping us get there. And what we are now doing is Cancer, meanwhile, is continuing to hurt and kill people. It is deadly. And if we can think differently and develop smarter drugs, I believe we will be able to destroy our common enemy. And my colleagues and I hope that one day your children will not be able to know cancer like we do. Thank you.